Evidently, good lighting exists nowhere today. And does this top make me look like an elementary school teacher? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> We will be discussing one of my favorite topics, my pet peeves. Why is this one of my favorite topics, you ask? <laughs> well, well, because one of my best skills, I would even call it a core competency, is complaining. Now, again you ask, Katie, why do you like complaining so much? Now, now, do not tell me, do not tell me that you do not have at least one class where you're friends with no one in there, but everyone is bonded by your collective hate for the teacher and all you talk about is complaining about the teacher. You know I'm right. It's like the best conversation starter. It's therapeutic. And so today, I'm videotaping my therapy of me talking about my pet peeves. Let us commence. The list is on my phone and the phone is being charged. Why? Because I don't prepare for these things. Pet peeve number one. When people are naturally good at things that you are naturally bad at, there is nothing that irks my soul more. There is nothing that irks my soul more. Say, this is a common one, math. In math class, when you're the person who works their butt off to even get a 12% on the test, you stayed up all night, and then Genevieve over here gets a 99% doing nothing. It just makes sense to Genevieve. I hate the Genevieves of the world. And it's not even like the Genevieves of the world did anything wrong, okay? They're naturally gifted naturally talented. I wish I were like that. And I always get so mad at the Genevieves, but it's never at her. It's just how it is. And that makes it worse. But you know what? It still hurts. It stings the way that I'd have to study all night for this and she's fine at it, bro. It's the most frustrating thing. People just say life isn't fair and that's true, but that doesn't mean it sucks and it doesn't mean I don't get to complain about it. <laughs> if only one good thing came out of that. <laughs> next pet peeve Netflix or any streaming platform for that matter but specifically Netflix because they do this all the time canceling the best shows why do they do this do I just like shows that no one else likes or is this a collective thing does everyone know that Netflix cancels the best shows it's so frustrating. They'll cancel a show after two seasons. The audacity. Two seasons is also so disrespectful too. Like three seasons, that's a show that has been run. That gave it a valiant shot. Three seasons is respectful. Two seasons? That's some shade towards that show. Cause it's like the ball's already rolling. It's not like it flopped after season one. It had enough people to like it, to give it two seasons, and then they cut it off. And for what? For what? And they love to leave cliffhangers too. This character just got framed for murder. Will he go to jail? Like, that's how they be ending seasons. And I'm over here contemplating emailing the writers of the show being like, what would have happened, dog? I need to know for my sanity. Next pet peeve. When people aren't competitive back. I'm a very naturally competitive person. I love competing against people and I love winning. But the winning isn't satisfactory unless you crush them. Let me tell you what I mean. But it's not satisfactory if they let you win. Nothing's more agitating than someone who doesn't care. I'm playing this game of go fish, right? I'm going ham in this go fish game. My entire life is riding on this. I am dedicated. And the other person isn't even trying. They're guessing things that they've already guessed. Complete disregard to whether they win or lose. That's the most annoying thing. Like, I'm trying to do something here and you're not even validating this and now it's not even gonna be satisfying when I inevitably crush you. That kind of sounds selfish, doesn't it? <laughs> and if you're a competitive person, you know exactly what I mean. Next pet peeve. Being called a liar when you're not lying. Cause there's nothing you can do to convince them that you're not lying. Especially Especially when you're trying to help them. When you're trying to help a person and they're like, no, you're lying to me. And you're like, I'm literally doing this out of the kindness of my heart. I'm literally doing this for you. You're Ooh, it's such an insult. And it makes me never want to help that person again. Never ever. Cause like, why are you trusting me? What can I do to make you trust me? Then I don't even want to make them trust me. Cause like once they've called me a liar, it's like, do I'm not gonna help you anymore. Why don't you believe? That's how you kill friendships. <laughs> Next peeve. People canceling plans for pathetic reasons. Now listen, if your grandma's in the hospital, okay, fine, you get this one pass, but you're canceling because you have homework due in a week and you want to do it tonight, the night that you said you would do this thing with me? Nuh-uh. That's not an excuse. That's you not wanting 
to do it. That's you not prioritizing me. The thing about canceling friends is the more you do it, the more you make a habit of it, the more you show to the people that you had made plans with that they are not priorities for you. And that's how you slowly wreck friendships. It's insulting and it makes them not trust you. And over time, they're gonna stop making plans with you. By extension, this is just people who promise things and don't keep the promises. Just don't do it. Stay true to your word. <laughs> anyway, clearly this has happened to me a lot. It's like, it's just why, bro? I put my time into this. I cleared my space in my calendar for you, okay? And now you're saying last minute, I'd rather stay home tonight. You're wasting my time. What do you mean? Do you not value my time? If you're gonna cancel plans, have a good reason. Next piece. Oh wait, could I harmonize in editing? Hold up. Next. Next Okay, that'll be cool. <laughs> Waking up to the sound of a garbage truck. No morning could be begun worse. And the thing is, they come on Mondays. Why do they gotta come on Mondays? I get woken up, woken up? I get woken up. I get woken up. I get woken up. It's like, you couldn't come later in the day, bro. 6 a.m., that's a little extreme. That's a little much. Can I not have the peace of the morning, please? And the second I hear that, I just roll over in bed. I can't go to sleep anymore. Every bone in my body is agitated at this point. Agitated. Next peeve. People who hold grudges. Why? It makes so little sense to me. Why would you be holding on to that kind of stress? Not only for yourself, but for those around you. No one likes to be around a person who holds grudges, especially people who then use them against you later. Especially for the little things. For the little things. If you're like, hey, can I borrow your pencil? And they're like, no. For why? Well, you borrowed a pencil from me last year and you never gave it back. Like, Guess what? No, I'm never gonna let you borrow my pencil. How do you like that? No one likes that. You're creating drama. Let it go. You're a stress to be around. No one likes being around you, ever. This last one is very specific. When teachers use T as a variable in math, why? Why would you do that? You're just making life harder on everyone because everyone's gonna think it's a plus sign. Everyone's gonna get confused. No one can read their notes later in math. I'm always gonna see that T as a plus sign. I'm using too much brain power already, okay? trying to figure out why y equals mx plus b. I don't need to be worrying about this t here. Whenever you're doing acceleration, speed, growth, literally time is always the variable. But listen, we could just as easily have another symbol for time. But would it be that bad though? You could tell that I had homework like two nights ago with t as a variable and it never ends well, only in frustration. If my face looked especially red today, that is because it is hot in my car. I'm gonna go blast the AC because I am getting pit stains and no one wants to be around to see that okay okay if you feel like it you can comment your own pet peeve and I will give my two cents on it because as we covered the best bonding happens what was I doing with my hands here over complaining it's a beautiful world that we live in thank you for watching <laughs>